have always had kind of a thing for Studebakers over the decades. When Lee McAllister showed up in his 57 Studebaker Silver Hawk, we knew we were in for something special. He's showing us around his hometown of Hansville, population 2000. First stop, a scenic lighthouse with a funny name. We're at uh, the Point No Point Lighthouse, Hansville, Washington. You're probably thinking, Hansville, where's that at? Well, we were out oh, about 10 miles from Kingston. It was uh, named Point No Point by a Captain Wilkes, I believe. And he uh, called it no Point No Point because it, it has really no point to it until you get far away from it. A little trivia. Lee says the salmon fishing is fine right from the beach, and you can spend the night right here in the keeper's quarters. It's, it's a beautiful place. Next stop, Hansville's most unique home. It's actually the upper deck house of a World War II tugboat. It's been landlocked here since 1972. First time we came down here was probably 20 years ago, and the, what the heck? <laughs> it fits in the whole area, you know, so it's not that far out of place, you know. How are we doing today, Darcy? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> good. I'm Next, good. Lee took us to meet Darcy Herrett at the Hansville Greenway, a nearly 400-acre nature preserve that exists because this tiny town worked to save it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Some of this land was slated for a housing development. That he's a little zen frog. In 2022, Darcy helped lead a fundraising campaign. The community raised more than $2 million and bought the land to share with everyone. And it was just by neighbors talking to neighbors. It made me really proud of this neighborhood and this community, the greater Hansville community. And the last stop on Lee's tour, a final resting place. The Hansville Cemetery. We're gonna meet with Fred Nelson. One of the perks of living in Hansville is that you can remain here for eternity, for free. It was deeded to the Hansville Ladies' Aid back in 1946 with the provision that anyone that lived in Hansville permanently for a year or more could be buried in a plot at no cost. Hansville Helping Hands is the organization Lee and Fred belong to that takes care of the cemetery. Helping has been a Hansville thing ever since this place was settled. Hans Zachariasen, he was one of the founders of Hansville years and years ago. This town may only have one store, but now, thanks to volunteer tour guide Lee McAllister, and his sweet Studebaker, we know that Hansville has plenty of heart.